The governor is under a lot of pressure at the state capitol to close a projected $6 billion budget deficit. He's going to lay out his executive budget plan at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Now, up until this point, the governor has really refused to give out any specifics on how he plans to balance the books. Six years ago, Cuomo and the legislature imp imposed the property tax cap. It limited the ability for local governments to raise taxes. And as part of that deal, the state agreed that it would take on growth in the cost of Medicaid. But expenses for that health care system have just skyrocketed. This sparked concern among some counties that the governor may propose raising the county's share of the burden. And the governor was on a conference call yesterday to talk about the census, and he was, of course, asked about these money issues. To answer your question specifically, what are we going to do vis-a-vis -vis local governments? Thank you. Thank you all very much for taking the time. Thanks. Hmm. We spoke to state legislators about the deficit, namely Assembly Majority Leader Crystal People Stokes from Buffalo and State Senator Tim Kennedy from here as well. Stokes told us that she will not favor any cuts to services while Kennedy took kind of a wait and see stance yesterday. He says he is interested to hear what the governor has to say today. In prior interviews, though, he has suggested taxing the ultra wealthy would help deal with the deficit. It is expected to be an intense session as lawmakers will start to debate how to close the budget gap.